hold out until my chain has come. Yes, Lord, right now, Father, I thank you for this opportunity to be here today. Um, Lord, use me to provide a word to the people that are listening. Father, I ask you to touch each and every one of us. And as we go into, into 2024, Father, I ask you to remember, help us to remember that we should just keep the faith. No matter what it looks like, no matter what's going on, we're going to just hold out and keep the faith. Because if you gave it to us, we know that in your time, everything will be okay. Father, I ask you to protect each and every one of the people that's listening to my voice from any hurt, harm, and danger. Lord, protect us and lead us and guide us in your name. In your name. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, I want to read just a little bit of Genesis 37, starting at verse 5. Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him all the more. He said to them, listen to this dream I had. We were binding sheaves of grain out in the field when suddenly my sheaf rose and stood upright while your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed down to it. His brother said to him, do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more because of his dream and what he had to say. Then he had another dream and he told to his brothers, listen, he said, I had another dream. And this time the sun and moon and 11 stars were bowing down to me. When he told his father, as well as his brothers, his father rebuked him and said, what is your dream you had? Will your mother and I and your brothers actually come and bow down to you? bow down to the ground before you. His brothers were jealous of him, but his father kept the matter in mind. As we um, look over this part right here, we're looking at the fact that Joseph had a dream. You know, sometimes when you have a dream, you want to share it with people. And unfortunately, everybody may not feel the same way you do about that dream. In Joseph's case, his brothers were jealous. They were like, um, what? What are, you, what are you saying? And his father admonished him. Just think about it. If your child came to you and said, mama, daddy, I dream you are bowing down to me. How would you feel about that? I think most of us would question them and think, mm, this child is crazy. I don't know what they think of. But the fact is, Joseph had a dream. And when he had this dream, he was sharing his dream. And the thing is, when we have dreams, because we all have dreams, aspirations, we cannot share our dream with everyone. It is clear from Joseph's situation that when you share your dreams with some people, they're not going to understand it. And they're not going to understand it because that dream was not given to them. It was not theirs for them to be able to understand and interpret. Um, when you share your dream with people, they may even try to discourage you from moving forward and taking on the um, person that you need to be for this dream to be um, walked out. In this case, Joseph had this dream and because of the jealousy, because of the envy and the things that happened and the dream being shared, it eventually led him to be sold into slavery. I'm not going to read all the story, but you can go back and read the story of Joseph and how everything happened. But I will share with you the spoiler alert that in God's time, all of his dreams came true. And the thing is, God planted dreams inside our heart. And when he gives us this dream it's, or this passion, whatever you want to call it, 
this desire, it's like a compass. It's going to guide you through life as long as you stay focused on your dream. And like I said before, remember, your dream wasn't meant for everyone. And it wasn't meant to be shared with everyone. Um, with your dream, sometimes you can tell people what you're doing. But I heard somebody say it like this. Tell people what you're doing, but show them first. Go ahead and show them. Walk it out. And then they can understand your dream a little bit better. Because when God places his promises inside of us, it's up to us to make sure that we steward that dream properly. And as you keep the faith in moving forward with your dream, I have three tips for you. The first one, discern the right time. In Ecclesiastic 3 and 1, it teaches us, to everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under the heaven. So some dreams need time to grow and develop before you share with someone else, before you're able to walk it out without worrying about the scrutiny of others. That's just like, um, uh, I, I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to give y'all a great example. Knowing the ark. Okay, that's it. Just like Noah, he was building the ark and they're like, you are crazy. But he knew what God gave him and he just followed through. And that's what you have to do. Just keep following through, keep following through because in due time, God is going to give you um, the tools and give you the way to be able to share this with other people. So you have to remember to share your dreams with God first and allow him to guide you and let him tell you who you are to show, um, who you are to share it with. So you're going to discern the right time. Then the second thing, guard against negativity. Proverbs 4, 23 instruct us to guard our hearts for everything we do flows from it. Sharing your dream with everyone can expose it to negativity and doubt. Um, not everyone's going to understand that dream. Not everyone is going to be for you in that dream. Sometimes people that you love, you want to share your dream with, but sometimes they will douse, fight, douse water on your fire on that dream. And not always because of the jealousy or anything. Sometimes they think that they're protecting you. They're protecting you from hurt or harm. So they'll tell you, no, don't do that. Don't do that. But let me tell you this. If God gave you a dream, steward it wisely. Seek him for when is the right time to share it with somebody. And then guard against any kind of negativity that will actually cause you to stop following through on your dream. And then the third thing you need to do is foster a praying atmosphere. Philippians 4, 6 through 7, encourage us to bring our anxieties to God through prayer. Sometimes it's best to share your dream with God, the one who planted it in your heart, cultivate it with a prayerful atmosphere around your dreams, seek God's guidance and protection. Um, what I want to remind you, if you have a dream, if God has given you something and you know this is what I'm supposed to be doing, keep moving forward. Keep walking. Don't worry about what other people have to say. When you are stewarding your dream, discern. Think about the, when is the right time. Ask God, when is the right time to share this dream with other people? God, how do I keep my um, dream from negativity? Because I don't want to be distracted from what it is that you've asked me to do. Help me to protect it from negativity. And then three, foster that praying and um, atmosphere around it. Because God will be able to help you to eliminate some of those anxieties and help you to be able to keep moving forward. It says we walk by faith, not by sight. So we have to keep walking by faith. God gave me this dream. This is what I'm supposed to do. Walk and walk and walk. Just keep walking by faith. When the naysayers come in and say things to you, you're going to have to just block them out. Tell them, no, I'm, I don't receive it. Reject it and keep walking forward. Because in God's time, 
you're going to see the fruition of your dreams. In God time, he will take care of you and do the things that he promised you that he will do. His timing is perfect. God's time is not our time. And we understand that, or we should understand that. When he says it's true, it's true. It doesn't matter what somebody else says. It may not look like what you think it will look like. It may not work the way you think it will work, but it will work in his time. And today, I just want to encourage you to steward your dreams, trust God, trust God's timing, and keep the faith. No matter what things may look like, no matter what how things may feel, keep the faith. Just keep moving forward because there are going to be times when you may doubt what you're doing. But if God gave it to you, keep praying with him, keep just going through and keep the faith. What I can only say, what I can say to you is that God is good. And all the time, God is good. So when you are, um, if you ever doubt yourself, if you ever wonder if it's what you're supposed to be doing, get to your quiet place. Get to your quiet place, tune out everything else, and just listen. Ask God, okay, am I doing what you asked me to do? Am I moving in the direction you asked me to move in? God, help me to continue to do your will. Help me to continue to do what it is that you want me to do. Other people may not understand it. Other people may not see it. Other people may not even believe in you, but if God gave it to you, you will be okay. Just remember, God does not call the qualified. He qualifies who he calls. So if God called you to do something, he's going to qualify you. He's going to give you all the tools, everything that you need. He's going to put the right people in your life to help you walk this through. You have to keep your faith no matter what's going on. Keep the faith. Don't forget about what it is that he's given you. Walk through it in his time. He will give you who you need. He will take you to the right place. He will actually walk you through that path. I just want to encourage you today. This um, We're coming to the end of 2023. Whatever it is that God has given you, remember that and walk it out in 2024. Keep that faith. No matter what it look like, no matter what it feel like, just keep the faith. Keep the faith. Steward the dream. God's got you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Hey, everybody. Faith, faith.